Hey everyone, my name is Inez. I'm here to bring you a quick word of encouragement to know that God is with you and he never leaves you and he never forsakes you. And he can do the supernatural miracles in just a moment and will shock everyone. And this is the season that God is standing for you, that the battles are ending against you. So let's pray. So Father, in Jesus' name, we worship you. We praise you, God. We just thank you for this day. We just thank you for those who are listening to this message, who need this message, Lord. May they be encouraged and edified, Lord. Holy Spirit, have your way in Jesus' name and amen. So the Lord brought me to Daniel um, in the lion's den. So this word of the Lord is for you who think that they're never going to get out of a situation. It's never ending. Why is this happening to me? Why are they ganging up on me? How come I'm in so much trouble? How has this happened in my family, my life or whatever it is? You know, God is with you. And when we pray, God hears. But God can do the supernatural in an instant. Now, this is for you. This word, the battles are ending and you're rising. This is your season. This is your time. So you need to understand that. After we fully surrender to the Lord, we give it all completely to him and we walk in obedience and in righteousness to his word. So let me give you Daniel chapter six. This is an amazing um, chapter. And the king commanded that they brought Daniel and they cast him into a den of lions. So I just want you to look at your own situation, any problem that you're facing right now. You know that God is alive, that God hears you, that God is for you. So whether it's people who are ganging up on you, maybe someone is saying that you owe so much or you're in debt or someone's withholding something from you or someone has got the position that you were supposed to have, whatever it may be, or just something that you can't afford. You know, this message is for you. We serve a God who was mighty, who was powerful, who was wonderful. There's nothing impossible to him. So Daniel was cast into the den of lions. Now the king spoke and said to Daniel, Thy God who you serve continually, he'll deliver you. So they're mocking him, throwing him into a den of lions. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet. And with the signet of the Lord's, that um, the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. And the king went to his palace and he passed the night fast, and neither were instruments of music brought before him, and a sleep went from him. And he's thinking that he's just going to be ripped apart, that's it, can't sleep, he's going to be dead. And the king arose early in the morning, and he went to the den of the lions, and when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice to Daniel, Daniel! And the king spoke and said to Daniel, Oh, Daniel! Servant of the living God is your God, who you serve continually, able to deliver, is he able to deliver you from these lines? And then Daniel said to the king, O king, live forever. So Daniel is answering him. My God has sent his angel and he shut the lion's mouths. And they have not hurt me for so much as before him innocence was found in me. And also before thee, O king. Have I done no hurt? The king was exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken out of the den and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. Do you believe God? Do you believe miracles? Do you believe that nothing is impossible to God? God shut them up. God quieted the enemies. Your battles are ending. God is shutting the mouths of those who have risen up against you, who have wrong motives towards you, who've misunderstood you, who've judged you wrongly, who've laughed at you, who are withholding your blessing. All of these things. God is shutting the mouth of the enemy and your blessing is being released. Just like that king, he shocked Daniel is alive. Take him out. He's, he's alive. God must be real. You know, God does things in your life. Even neighbours, people, family, 
people around will just think, how did they get that? How are they able to afford this? How are they able to get this position? And you just say, it's God. Because God provides for me. God helps me. God is my protector. God is my very present help. So that is the word of the Lord for you. It is God who is delivering you from these battles. This thing that you think is not shifting, this stone is there. It's not moving. How am I supposed to do this? And in the natural, you've been looking around. How am I supposed to get out of this? What will I do? Where will I go? Remember I said the very last thing there. No manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. Believe him, trusting him. Even though you've prayed and you're still waiting, you're saying, God, I still believe for this. I'm still standing. I'm still believing in you. I'm still trusting you. Where do you want me to go? And in the instant, God brings your miracle. God brings the person. God removes the stone. God blesses you. So that is a word for you today. <clears throat> and if that has blessed you, please let us know in the comments or any testimonies just to encourage others. And thank you for doing that. So that is the word of the Lord for you today. So Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that you surround us with favour. You surround us with shield, Lord. You're our help in times of trouble. You're a miracle working God. You're a God who hears us. You're the God who loves us. You're the God who performs wonderful miracles. And we believe you this day, God. Lord, I just decree and declare this over those who are listening right now, who are in difficult situations, whether it's financial sick situations, whether it's sickness, whether it's a problem, whether there's something going on in their family, their life, their ministry, their workplace, whether the enemy is coming at them, Lord, lift up a standard, God. Protect them, Lord. Surround them with angels, God. Supernatural miracles in their life that will shock them and the people around them. And God, we thank you that you're so good. And I speak peace into those, Lord, who are worried right now. You told us not to worry, Jesus, but to trust you. May your faith rise as you hear the word of God daily. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, we give you glory. We give you praise. We thank you for protecting us. We thank you for helping us. We love you, Lord. It's harvest time. Their miracle is here. And we thank you, Jesus Christ. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We give you praise. We give you thanks because God is good and his mercy endures forever. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. In Jesus' name, because God is good. So get ready for your miracle and have the most wonderful day. God bless you.